What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon X walkthrough. Okay, so, first is first. Yep, last episode we defeated uh, Wolfric for our final badge here in the Kalos region, and now it is finally time for us to go straight to the Pokemon League. But we're going to have to take a small detour into the next route. And, uh, well, if you guys haven't noticed the internet settings or anything, it's off, because I am currently using my wired capture card right here, uh, kind of want to give it a spin before we do anything else. So let's go right ahead and move on right here. Yes, we are saying goodbye to everybody right here because, uh, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. That's awesome right there. Now, let's go right ahead and see what's going on into this next route. Okay, alrighty. So, finally, defeated the Elite Four or the Pokemon, uh, all the gym leaders right here. All you have to worry about is that which uh, Pokemon party do, do or whatever. I, don't even, I, I didn't even say that right. Okay, so here we are in Route 21, Der 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 Way. Now this place right here, I usually avoid. I usually go to, straight to the uh, first town that we get to the Pokemon League just because I'm a little lazy. But since, eh, you know, we, we got some trainers right here, I might as well just battle everybody while we still can. Uh, you can find some items right here and a few interesting Pokemon as well. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to use a this guy right here and well there are some uh, trainers right here too I've been waiting my Pokemon partner since the very beginning of my journey can't even read this right I don't even know okay so here we go guys another battle a trainer Mire Mirelli I can't even pronounce that coming out with her Sableye right here and well let's go with Godzilla Godzilla alrighty so, here we go, flamethrower for the win, right here, okay, so, yeah, like I was saying, guys, I'm actually using my capture card that is wired, and it's working perfectly, uh, it doesn't require the internet, and it's just, you know, it's, again, it's getting me all excited for what's next, because, uh, a few days ago, I have announced that Pokemon Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Moon is a go. Mainly because the internet settings on my wireless capture card did not work uh, well onto that game. And, well, thanks to Victor V, the seller of this uh, of the, the item that I bought, I'm able to, you know, come out with the uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon, uh, just like I've always planned right here. And, well, look at that. Murray, I, mean, I can't even pronounce that name. I'm sorry for the people that I keep on butchering names and all that stuff. Okay, so we defeated this young lady right here. Now it is time to move on right here. There's a double battle waiting for us, but let's go ahead and just move this boulder right now. Like I said, you are going to be finding some new items right here, plus some pretty interesting Pokemon. Believe it or not, you can actually find Dratini and Dragonair right here. And, well, I'm not going to go capture them. It's just it's just a heads up, yes. There, there are those two Pokemon right there. So what I'm going to do is just I'm going to be moving this boulder keep it going keep it going there we go let's go come on use the force young one yeah buddy right there okay so here we have a trainer waiting for us and he's gonna be like among trainers words are nece unnecessary wouldn't you say hippodon aurorodus aurorodus it's battle time show them your strength okay alrighty so he's ready he's going down for a battle and here we go veteran Lewis wants the battle he's coming out with his hippodon Hippodon right here looks uh, like a tank. And here comes Godzilla. Godzilla. Don't necessarily have the right moves for this guy, so I'm going to have to switch out my Pokemon right here. Let's go Kakashi Hitake. Alrighty. Again, I'm loving the the uh, wired capture card. It's, uh, believe it or not, yeah, it's a hassle just because it's taking up a section to your wires and all that stuff, but it... You know, it takes away the whole aspect of, you know, the internet being laggy, people using the internet and all that stuff. It works, guys. And, uh, you know, I wish, I wish that, you know, five years ago I would have, I would have read the instructions properly before I would have bought that Japanese capture card. That way I would have gotten a, uh, an American version. That way this wouldn't have been an issue. But, you know, uh, you learn, you live, you learn. It's all, it's all right there. So, what we're going to do right now is we're going to be switching out our Pokemon. Let's go with Goku right here. Alright, and he won't be affected by this uh, Sandstorm since it is a Steel-type Pokemon. And look at that, Aurorus coming in 
looking mean. Well, let's go with an Aurora Sphere and... Oh, wow. It is protecting itself right now. So let's go right ahead and use an Aurora Sphere. Finish this guy off right now. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Alrighty, okay, alrighty, and... Well, Lewis has been defeated. I feel good about that. Alrighty, okay, so let's see. Now, moving on right here, you'll be able to find the Move Tutor's House. This is where you can actually teach your Pokemon some specific moves, and... Uh, I thought that was going to be like a, a flight battle right there. Now, let's see. Advanced tips, if you use Trick Room again after it's already been used, everything goes back to normal. The fastest Pokemon once again gets the first act. Okay. And, well, in this area right here, you will be able to find Dragonair and Dratini. And, well, I'm not going to do that. I'm just actually going to be grabbing the items that are around here. So here we found ourselves a Repeat Ball. Very, very good uh, item, which I already have plenty of. And here we go with a cut, and let's take this Fiji Berry, or Figgy Berry. I don't even know how to pronounce that. A lot of these names don't know how to pronounce. I really don't care, guys. <laughs> Alrighty. So let's go right ahead and use another Repel right here, because we don't need uh, we don't need to get attacked by any kind of Pokemon right here. Alright, so that is uh, done. And, well, there's really nothing right there that you can actually go to. I did see an item close by. You can't really swim on that, so you're going to have to go down. And crud, they saw us. A strong Pokemon trainer and a strong tra trainer, or wait, a strong Pokemon and a strong trainer come together to form a strong team. It's that simple. Once you've memorized all the Pokemon's moves and abilities, victory comes naturally. Okay. It sounds like to me they were they were a tag team the whole entire time. So here they come out with Whale Lord and Vileplume. Holy crud! So, yeah, we kind of have a little bit of an issue with Wailord right here. So let's go with Vileplume, and let's go with a Poison Jab onto Wailord. So here we go, Flamethrower for the win. Say goodbye to Vileplume. Look at that. Okay, and yes. Godzilla, Godzilla, kicking ass, taking names, and, Go and Goku grows to level 64, which is great, too. And here we have the Poison Jab. Alrighty, and now you are Poison Waylord. There's nothing you can do right there. And here comes its Amnesia attack. So now it's beefing up its uh, special defense. So it looks like to me we're going to have to actually just like hit it physically. While this Poison is draining its points. So let's go with a Return Attack and a Close Combat just to finish this guy off. And here comes the Return and that takes care of that right there. So say goodbye to Waylord. I feel good. I feel great. And Gaia 3 grows to level 68. Look at that. Abracadabra, Hocus Pocus, we kicked your butt. Alrighty. Okay, so let's see. We got to get that last item right there. And okay, so you can actually swim right here. And well... Look at that. Okay, so let's see. We gotta get that item real, real quick. What is this? We found ourselves an insect plate. Now, comment down below, guys. I'm a little confused about these plates right here. Can you get Arceus in this game? Because if you can, then that's something new for me right there. And, well, here we go. Moving on forward. And there is another section right here that we have to... Oh, there's, an, there's a section right here that we haven't uh, gone to. And... Why not? Use another Super Repel just to not get attacked. And, uh, well, going down this part right here. And we got more Pokemon trainers ready to battle us right there. So let's go ahead and take everybody on. I feel like I'm missing something before I can take on Victory Road. Let me battle you and find out what it is. Probably skill. I don't know. So there it is. Trainer Evan wants the battle. Coming out with his Chandelure. Look at this. Chandelure. I remember having that Pokemon in my very, very first Pokemon Black walkthrough, way back when. And look at that, Confuse Ray misses, so here we go. Fly attack, nearly does it, and here comes that Confuse Ray, good god. Alrighty, so we're, we're, we're confused now. So let's go right ahead and switch out to Kakashi Hitaki right here. Alrighty, let's get this. 
Here we go, Kakashi Hitake. Ready to kick some butt, and here comes a Shadow Ball. I, I thought, I thought Ghost type moves didn't affect Dark type Pokemon. I, I really thought about that. Okay, so let's go with the Surf Attack since it is a Fire type Pokemon. Oh yes, and there we go. Say goodbye to Chandelure, and we defeated Evan right here. So eh, it's not that hard to beat. Okay, so. Let's see, uh, we're going to be moving on right here, and is there a hidden item right here? No. But there are some trees that we can actually cut. Thankfully, we do have a Pokemon that can just, like, you know, cut through everything right here. And here we have another trainer. I've lost track of how long I've been waiting here for my sweetheart to return. I was once innocent last, but now I'm all grown up. Oh, damn. Really? You're all grown up. This is awesome. Okay, so here we go. Veteran Trisha wants the battle. Coming out with a Tyrantrum. Holy bejeebus. This is the first time we're facing this guy. And, well, let's go right ahead. And, uh, well, Flamethrower Attack. I think Tyrantrum is a Rock-type Pokemon, too, so I could use that. And here comes a Dragon Claw. Ah, jeez. Okay, so that was a critical hit. Let's go Bulldoze. And Bulldoze nearly does it, and it lowers its speed right there. So here comes another Dragon Claw. Good gravy. So let's go again. Bulldoze for the win. Good God. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. And here comes a Crunch Attack. Oh, jeez. And it... Oh, crud. So there goes Godzilla. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, so I should have gone with somebody better right here. Let's go with Kakashi Hitake. Okay. Tyrantrum. You're looking pretty sweet right there. So I'm going to le leave you off with a little shower right there. And there goes Tyrantrum. Big old Tyrannosaurus Rex. Another Pokemon I could u I could be using. And look at that. Bonesaw finally grows to level 60. And we're good to go. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so... It is now raining, and I, yeah, I should heal my Pokemon right here. Maybe I should, maybe it's a good idea to start using uh, Bonesaw. I haven't seen Bonesaw in, like, a few episodes. So there we go. Godzilla, Godzilla growing levels. And Kakashi Hitake himself growing some levels right there, too. And, well, let's go right ahead and switch out this, uh, switch out the Pokemon right here. Let's go with Bonesaw right here. And let's go. Let's see. We're going to grab this item. Here we found ourselves an elixir. Good, good uh, item right there. And let's see. There are these boulders right here that we need to actually move. And this right here is an intriguing part of the whole puzzle. So I probably should have gone back. Right here. Can't pass. Use this. And look at that. Okay. So moving on. Okay, so... Jesus, criminy, okay. They're just making it tough for me. And yes, let's go ahead and use another repel right here. And look at that. So, I cannot move this. Okay, so maybe I should. Hmm. Actually, hold on. Crap baskets. I think I know what to do right here. Uh, let's see. Let's push this back. And let's go up top right here and push this guy. Oh, damn. Okay. Oh, damn. Okay, so... I thought it would I thought it would have been wider right there, so... Alright, so we're moving that right there. And we're moving this little bastard right here. And here we go. Come on. Finish this off. There, and it's sunk. Alrighty, okay. So now I think that we have to move this guy all the way back. And let's see, one more. Let's see. Let's see. Um, oh, yeah, you know, it's in perfect, in perfect shape right here. So let's go right ahead and move this on forward. There we go. Look at that. Okay. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so we got two places. Now it's on for the third one right here. So we got that down. 
and now we gotta push this little thing right here go all the way around and uh yeah i'm gonna just in case i just need to use another super repel because i do not want to get attacked by any of these pokemon right here so let's go right ahead and move this little bastard forward look at that look at that and there we go and now we can actually swim to this portion right here so I'm trying to figure out this whole area let's see alrighty there is an item right there it's, it's obviously it's a uh, what you call it a a uh, TM so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go right here because I kinda wanna get this we found ourselves a rare candy could prove useful for us and well, let's go right here, and let us move on ahead, cut this little bastard right here, there we go, it's a lot of movement that they're making us do for, for just this one's portion now, I could have just skipped this all and just gone straight to the Pokemon League, but you know me, perfection is a must, so and now we can actually push this right here. Yes, use another max or super repel right there. Let's go. Come on. Keep it going. Keep it going. There we go. Alrighty. And this one up top. And now it's aligned. And that's how you do it. Okay, so look at this. We found ourselves. What item did we find? The TM22 Solar Beam, which is a very good grass type move for all of us. And, well. I think that does it for this episode right here. Yeah, we've completed everything that we need to find right here. As you can see, we've been here before. This is where you can actually get to the Pokemon League. What I'm going to do right now is off screen, I'm going to go straight to the Pokemon Center, heal up my Pokemon, and then we're finally going to make our adventure a little bit more interesting when we go to the Pokemon League. So again, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.